Hey guys, and how's it going? Another uh, yard sale vlog, so to speak, but I figure I'll get to that in a little bit. Doing some rearranging in one of the garages. Some stuff is leaving and some stuff has come in and we need to kind of clean up and uh, I figure it'd be a good time to turn the camera on and answer some questions. The Vespa, I still have the Vespa, it's a 64 big frame. We have a video uh, probably about almost a year old now of us doing a cold start and getting this running and doing an assessment on it. Since then I ordered a bunch of parts for it. There's parts in boxes, there's parts sitting down inside it. So we're on our way. I still need to locate a good seat for it and some other things, but um, hopefully this will be coming in during the winter when things kind of slow down. I am completing obligations I have to other people. Once that stuff is out of the way, we can concentrate and have more fun on working on small engine stuff and bikes and try to steer our channel more towards that kind of thing. So having said that, some stuff is also leaving. Right there is a Honda Shadow. The Honda Shadow was given to me, I want to say maybe about a year, year and a half ago also. Not about a year, I think it was last summer. That the, uh, uh, it was his bike, he was moving. We helped him with some other stuff. He gave us this bike. This bike is an 1100, an 86 1100 Shadow that has, I believe, low compression on one cylinder. I've not done anything with it other than taking it off the truck and put it in the tank garage. It was already dirty from down in the barn where it was. We're gonna go hit it with the pressure washer. It's a decent bike. I have the side covers. They started looking into it. That's why the gas tank is disturbed and the seats are just kind of sitting on it. it has saddlebags. Again, all the, all the seats and stuff are just kind of sitting on it. Well, that one is. Looks decent. I think the tank is okay on it. But anyway, so this is sold. This should be leaving next week. And yeah, the tank's decent. And it has 26,000 miles on it. Little bangs and bruises here and there, but again, for uh, what I paid for it and what I'm selling for it, it's uh, more than fine. Nice engines, these are. Also, same person who's buying this is more than likely buying the Virago. Yes, the Virago is still around. It has been run out of fuel. There's no fuel in it whatsoever. So as long as this seat sits, it's not going to hurt anything. But uh, that should be leaving also. Gonna clean up the garage space. On the uh, VW bus, when we scored that uh, 13 window 66 bus, I think it was 66, 64, 66. Uh, I also picked up a Honda CT70 that needs a bunch of work and I have a Honda CT70 uh, frame for the most part that this bike can get used for parts when we put two of those bikes together. That's a little better. All the heavy stuff off of it anyway. And there's the side covers and the air cleaner box and everything that are, were taken off of it. So it is complete. Yeah. Busted directional, the seat's got a rip in it. That's an easy fix. So I wish it well. All right, on to other stuff. All right, so the yard sale finds. On our right, we have, under there, is a Honda uh, Cub 100, which is a 50cc, we call it a motorcycle because it has gears that you shift. Uh, essentially, it's a one step up from a moped in 1962. And on our left, we have a, what's the name of that? Clinton, Clinton 50A moped. Both of these came from the same location. And uh, we'll get those off the truck, get a little bit better look at them. Again, that one needs an engine. This one seems mostly complete other than some busted up, you know, accoutrements hanging off of it. And then that, that thing is cool. That's a mystery machine. I'll wait till we get that down out of the truck to show you what that is. All right, so I got those off the truck. And I think this is, 
I think it's an 81. No, it's not. It's another bike that's an 81. This is a 78-79 Clinton Sachs motor. Said it ran when it was put away. Again, beat up. All the typical things from, uh, you know, just getting ridden and putting away wet for the most part. Busted directionals and gas tank that's kind of crunchy and you know, those kind of things. So that should make for a good will it run video and should come back to life. I don't see a reason why not. I already pedaled it and it seemed like the compression was normal and everything was okay as far as that's concerned. Some lovely tassels. <laughs> has 3,600 miles on it. Even has the optional cup holder. <laughs> eh. Eh. It's, it, it's, it smells vintage. And then this guy, which I really love is a, a Honda a Cub 100, I believe is the numbers that are on it. Again, 1962, very clean. You can see the, the uh, uh, tailpipe is very nice on it. It's not rotted out. And yeah, another calling that Honda 50. I thought it was called the 100 though. Still running the original tires. I don't see any dry rotting or cracking in them. 62 amazing how that works huh something that's 50 something years old is fine and then tires that are four years old have dry rot in them so its issue is wherever i left it it's in the box let's go up the truck so here's the problem with this one does anything kind of show anything stand out a little bit now that is the hole in the top of the piston when a valve let go and just smashed its way into there and made hamburger unfortunately it doesn't even have the cylinder head not that i would think the cylinder head was any good but that is not even in the box at all so that is a bit of an issue i also noticed we were missing the exhaust pipe the front exhaust pipe that goes into the muffler oh well so i need help on this harvey spooner is looking in to see what he has in his hoard the uh the honda collector that he is but um again not sure even what would fit in there, but we're gonna need to start gathering some parts for this one as part of why I'm making this video is that in the future, we can kind of gather the parts for the future and uh, have the stuff we need to, to try to build this bike back up. I mean, it's real clean, got a nice seat on it. I don't know if it lifts up or not. we got should be the fuel tank that is actually very clean inside I'm not sure if it's picking it up that one looks decent inside and I know it's missing the ignition switch on the other side the wires are just hanging out of it I would say that's probably where a battery went yeah we're missing the pipe from here going up to the engine And there would be an ignition switch right here. You see it's zero, one, two is missing altogether. So it definitely is gonna need a bunch of love, but it's a nice clean chassis, original paint to work with. So I'm happy about that. Missing a directional there. Well, just for shits and giggles, you wanna throw the jumper pack on the Honda and see if it at least cranks over? Yeah, why not? I've never even put power to this thing. Give me the key back. Lights up. You might have to pull the clutch in. What do you think? You should dribble a little fuel in it. Tank off. Tank's off of there. Throttle rolls. That's a good sign. It's been, uh, I think the sticker says 6 of 11. I am trying to figure out where we can kind of shoot a little bit. 
of intake goes up into the horn. Got to be a hole in the frame somewhere for it to suck air in, right? You see it? What are you guys just pointing at it right now saying it's right over there? I'll find it. So the intake horn is right there. This is actually part of the frame, it's part of the air box, I guess. Let's see. I don't know if we're going to be able to backfeed a little bit of fuel in there. I don't think so. I think it's going to drip back on us. And we have good old starting fluid. In this case, we're going to use it. We've got to crank it, see if she'll fire. Cold start, huh? Seems like it might even have some gas in the carbs that it was still kind of running on because that was way longer than it should have been. That's a good deal for somebody. I wonder if it even has an issue with the engine. It's starting to sound like it actually kind of rained on too. I think we blew out some mice. <laughs> yeah. That'd be a, a home for somebody that wasn't happy. I hope we shot them out on fire. Well, it's cleaned out now. And last but certainly not least, is this guy. What is that you say? I said the same thing. See how it's got a, uh, a propeller? And it's kind of all enclosed. And somehow finagle these guys open. And on the inside is this funky little engine. I'm going to say it's probably Japanese. This little, I don't know if it's a two stroke or four stroke. Probably a two-stroke. It's like it's never been run. Gas tank's really clean. Yeah. And what this guy was for, so I am told, is they had these um, little inner tubes that you could ride around, and there's a little engine that sat in the middle. I seem to remember seeing something like that in a um, like an amusement park. You, you get on these little tubes and you kind of go putt around a couple mile an hour. And uh, this, I, I guess they got outlawed and shut down and banned and everything else. Is that a fuel shut off there? Yeah. So they cut up all the tubes and I think they destroyed all the machines. But this is a new one that's never, uh, looks like it's never even been run. And so we're going to go make something out of that. I think it's just a cool little machine. It looks like the throttle. The throttle's up here. You kind of sit in between, like this would be sitting between your legs I guess. Try not to break anything. You maybe grab on these handles and kind of steer it around or lean lean it back and forth to steer it around. It's like it's watertight. So I'm thinking if we can go find like a uh, tow behind, you know, boat tube, something a little heavier, maybe we can fabricate something up and we'll actually put this thing back in service. Just gotta watch your toes. I'm not sure what the actual damage was to people. I don't think you'd actually can kind of. Yeah, you could barely reach the propeller. Unless this thing's kind of wimpy and breaks off and takes you out too. That's a cool little system. I've never seen that before. And uh, that'd be fun to go putting around on the pond with for sure. Go fishing. <laughs> Alright guys, so with that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go wrap it up and uh, get this video up for you. 
I think y'all kind of hanging out in the garage with me. I do have another bike, which is a 50-50 whether I'm going to go get. It's a CT70, which is a fairly clean. That one's an 81. He's uh, looking to see if a friend who he promised it to like 10 years ago has any interest still in it. And if not, um, I am the next guy on that. Prices. Everybody wants to know prices. All right, I'll let you know prices. The This and the blue moped. I did a combo deal for 400 for the pair and the Honda 50, I'm in it for a hundred bucks. So the Honda 50, I'll, you know, whatever it takes to chase down an engine on that can get, you know, fairly pricey. We'll see how that works out. This more than likely probably doesn't need anything other than what we're going to make for it to go do what it needs to do. And the moped, um, hopefully, you know, one or 200 bucks will get that one up and running so with that guys i'm gonna go wrap it up i want to thank all you for hanging out in the garage with me and uh you can get a cold start on this one too so the next one see ya